Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about bone scans in people with breast cancer. What is a bone scan? When do you need it? What might the results show? And what to expect when you have a bone scan? Not necessarily in that order. A bone scan is different from a bone mineral density scan or a DEXA scan. So I just want to get that out of the way up front because a lot of people think that they're the same thing and it makes sense because they sound pretty similar, right? Checking for your bone density versus a bone scan. We do bone scans in people with breast cancer or a history of breast cancer to look for abnormal areas that suggest cancer might be in the bone. So I would just want to talk for a moment about bone. Bone is constantly turning over in our body, meaning it's broken down and it's remodeled. It's broken down and remodeled. I'm trying to think of a good metaphor, maybe a plant that turns over, right? It drops its leaves and then it sprouts again, leaves and buds in the spring. So bone is constantly remodeling. And when it's abnormally remodeling in response to an insult, like an injury, a fracture, or cancer, the bone will have more turnover. So if I go out and I whack my leg, my bone scan might show increased bone activity because there's healing of the bone. That would have to be a pretty serious bruise, but I'm sure you know the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you have a fracture, your bone scan will show increased remodeling because it's healing. It wants to heal the bone. And so in the body, we have a lot of uh, minerals that get taken up as part of that bone remodeling process. What a bone scan does is it actually takes that very element and we put a little tag on it, a little nuclear uh, signal tag, so that we can see where that remodeling is taking place. So again, if one were to have a bone scan after a fracture, that area of remodeling would pick up that radio labeled isotope that resembles the normal bone material and it would show up on a bone scan. So that's uh, sort of what's happening when you have a bone scan done. The way it, the test is done is you get an injection of this radio isotope. It's a very low dose. It's lower than an x-ray. We don't give a lot of radioactivity but we give enough that after the injection, about three hours later, we can take pictures of the bone and see where there is increased uptake. Now we can see increased uptake for a variety of reasons, right? Like a fracture, like cancer, uh, an old injury. And I've even seen a lot of uptake in people with severe osteoporosis. So we don't always know what it means just from the picture alone. There is a characteristic pattern that makes us think this is cancer that has metastasized or spread to the bone. And we'll generally describe um, multiple areas that are dark on the bone scan. If they are completely symmetric, so they're in exactly the same spots on the body, that's usually normal uptake. It doesn't usually concern us. And we'll also see uptake in the kidneys because the kidney gets rid of the isotope. So imagine you're on the bone scan table and you're looking at the screen. You're going to see two dark spots where your kidneys are. That's not cancer. That's your kidneys getting rid of it. If you see other spots on your bone scan, the technician can't tell you. They're not allowed to tell you what your bone scan means. So I would say out of compassion for them and yourself, don't ask them. The scan gets read by a special radiologist, a nuclear medicine trained radiologist who will give an interpretation. Very rarely will the report ever say that this is advanced cancer in the bone because we have to relate it to your history. Is this being done to look for cancer? Do you have symptoms in the area where the bone scan shows an abnormality. Even then, if it does, if you don't, aren't known to have advanced cancer, we recommend a biopsy of any abnormal area. There's some areas easier and safer to get to than others. Your medical team will talk with you about the areas that are easier to biopsy. If you already have advanced cancer and your bone scan is being done to see how you're doing, 
we generally don't need to do a biopsy. So if you are living with advanced cancer with metastatic disease to the bone and the bone scan shows uh, new spots, it's possible that that's new cancer. There's also a phenomenon called flare. And this is a fascinating phenomenon that's really important for you to know about. Sometimes the radiologist doesn't know about this and they, they know about the phenomenon of flare, but they don't know where you are in your treatment. So I'm gonna give you a specific example because I think that always helps. Let's say you've been diagnosed with metastatic cancer to the bone, you're put on treatment. Three months later, you come back and there's more intensity. Why would that be? Well, remember bone scans pick up pretty much healing, remodeling. So you can actually have new spots show up where the bone is healing due to your treatment. I know I'm covering a lot. If you want to learn more about whether or not you might have bone scans or whether or not bone scan is something we recommend, you can go to yerba.com. I'm going to cover that now. In general, we don't recommend doing a bone scan in people who have stages zero, one, or two breast cancer. In people with stage three disease, or in people who are going to get chemotherapy first before surgery, we will often recommend that you have a bone scan as part of a workup before you start chemotherapy. If you have stage three disease and you're symptomatic, you have aches and pains in the bone, or you're newly diagnosed with stage four disease at the very beginning, the first time you're told you have cancer, a bone scan will be part of your workup as long as it's available in your area. Sometimes an, a special MRI can be done of your body instead of a bone scan. You generally don't need both, and bone scan tends to be the gold standard unless you're on a clinical trial. Again, I, as I mentioned at the beginning, we do an injection and then there's a three hour break. What do you do during that? Well, generally it's not enough time to go home. If you have other tests like CAT scans or an ultrasound of your heart called an echocardiogram, that can be done between the injection and when you have your bone scan pictures. We try really hard to keep you out of the radiology center and keep you out of the hospital as much as possible. So even if it means your bone scan might be done a couple days later and it can be coordinated with your other scans, that's something I would strongly consider. You have a lot going on in your life. Again, I've covered a lot. Who gets a bone scan? Why do we do it? How it's done and how to interpret it. It can be hard to interpret it. And the role of a biopsy if we think there might be cancer somewhere. Having a biopsy done to confirm that is really important. Visit Irba.com to learn more about your treatment options and what might be discussed with you. And if this video has been helpful, click like and subscribe. That helps other people who are going through the same thing or have the same questions find this video on YouTube.